let's pop in garlic. Remember with garlic, you don't want to cook it for too long because it, it will burn quite easily and when it starts to burn you've got that very sort of acrid um, taste to it that you don't really want in your dishes. So just quickly in there, keep it moving. As soon as you start to smell the flavour can be released from, from that garlic, uh, you can pop in your seitan. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit so that I can explain to you uh, what seitan is and how best to use it now. For the Chinese, we've been using seitan for a long, long time, even though recently it's only just become something that, that um, is a go-to protein substitute for, for vegans. Now, the seitan itself is actually gluten. Um, so this is uh, gluten, mainly from wheat. Um, one of the ways of making it is actually to remove all the starch from wheat flour. So you, you wet the flour as though you're making a, a dough for bread. Uh, and what happens is that you continue to knead it under running water. And what that's doing is separating out the starch from the protein and the, glu the gluten which is left behind. So that's what gives you that sticky, elastic uh, consistency to, uh, to the seitan itself. So, if you can have a look at that, you've got the garlic in there, uh, just imparting that flavour. Just let that go back on the heat. So the next thing to go in are the carrots. Okay. Once the heat is back in the pan, you can add in the peppers. And of course you can substitute any, any kind of pepper in there, if you, you know, if you don't like the not so keen on the green ones, use, use a red pepper. Uh, for the mushrooms, chestnut mushrooms, but as I said earlier, you can use any kind of mushroom, white mushroom, uh, oyster mushrooms. Pop the lid. And I'm going to tip about half a jar. So half a jar is a typical two pepper serving. Even though I've got the heat turned down, you get a nice sizzle from it. We've got all the heat left in, in the pan. Just coat it gently. Uh, you, you, just rewarming it. Uh, and now I'm going to pop in the. I'll take a handful, a small handful. I'll leave some behind just to sprinkle over the end. Take that down, stop it boiling. Now I've actually taken it off the heat completely now, so all I'm doing is just stirring it through just to get that colour nicely mixed in there. 